Shotgun Farmer. Hey everybody, I want to wheeze him here. It is Friday night, July 4th, well technically it's Saturday morning, but Friday, July 14th is a very special day. Why? Well, let's take a look around us. <laughs> We're in a strange new land, a strange new environment here in Shotgun Farmers. Aside from the obvious changes, there's no barn, there's no forest side camping going on here. We uh, appear to be out in outer space, and that's because we are. But you'll note, right here in the top left-hand corner, Season 2. That's right, Season 2 is here, Season 1, Cattle Pass. Season 2, uh, we've got Space Side here. So we've also got a limited time soaring snipers, that was active last night. But uh, Daily Challenge is, of course, King of the Crow, Shovel Kills, Militov Cocktails. You don't really care about that, though. <laughs> and, uh, I had uh, asked my nephew if he wanted to play earlier. I told him we could either try to take out Queen Bok Bok or come in and do Space Side for the first time. Uh, I think he's busy tonight, and quite frankly, I could not pass this up. So, <laughs> here's what we're going to do. I've done nothing here. I don't know what to expect. I've never played on the map. Uh, nothing. So we're going to get started just by looking at Season 2. All right, we're going to take it slow. We're going to go one by one. What is this? Ooh, Galactic Groove. Okay, we got to roll with that because as much as I love my custom music there, uh, it's season two time. All systems go. <laughs> so, uh, up next, okay, you got the Invader glasses. Very Probably need to ditch this Forest Ranger costume immediately. Badge, that's what I was hoping that was. Very cool blast off. Uh, to the Moon is going to be the first title we get. We got 100 Bok Bucks. We've got the Invader Headband. That's actually kind of a good look with that. <laughs> it scares some campers, I guess. Uh, let's see here. Right here, we've got the Full Moon Badge. Very cool. Uh, eight. We've got the Moon Siders. That's a win. I got some more Bok Bucks. Right here, the Shoveltron 3000. This is one of the items we got to see that was teased to us. Looks freaking sweet. Uh, we'll get that again at uh, Tier 10. 11, we've got Utter Space. Very, uh, very utterly ridiculous play on words there. Uh, 12, oh, we've got a Moon Rock. That's going to be a must-have. We'll probably switch to that immediately when we get it. Space Explorer Badge, that's a cool one. 100 Bok Bucks. Uh, Boxka Explorer. Uh, then we've got the Space Explorer outfits. I might uh, win some folks over. These look pretty good too. Galaxy glasses. Okay, like I wasn't a huge fan of the sunglasses in the game. These have all been really good. <laughs> so, Center of the Universe badge. Man, I was like, uh, I almost wish this was like a series. And it may be, for all I know. I haven't looked and seen what we have available to us, but. If there were like multiple maps in outer space, that uh, would be pretty sweet. So, 500 Bok Bucks at 19, tier 20. Meteor Mash, I'm not going to spoil that for you. Um, <laughs> this looks like an OG, uh, like Super Mario Bros. 2 type of a villain, but it's Space Bok is what that is. Very interesting. Uh, third eye there, let's see. Box of Specialist. Uh, we got 500 Bok Bucks. 24, we get the Astro Cob finally. If you didn't know, that's like a count on your ammo. <laughs> so, I don't know if it'll change the, like, the in-game dynamic thing or not, but, oh, it's going to be so satisfying to get that guy. So, interesting that's 24, not 25, but that's because 25 looks to be a Space Bok Pit. Pretty cool. We might roll with that for a little while, but Pet Rock was... Pet Moon Rock, I should say, is pretty sweet. I wonder if there's a Moon Cheese. <laughs> yeah, Wallace type thing. Uh, so you've got the Earth Head hat. Interesting. It's going to be fun to smash people with that. 500 Bok Bucks. Uh, tier 28, we get the Galaxy Shovel. Epic. Uh, tier 29, we get the Edge of Infinity Badge. Looks like a Steam <laughs> outline. 30, you get the Bok Fighter Pilot. Hmm. These are all building up. I, I hope the patches back up what I'm thinking we've got. Uh, you got the Spoink. That's kind of cool. Dark Explorer. Oh, man. If there could be, like, team battles with, you know, Standard versus Dark versus 
mercenary type thing. 500 block bucks there. Galaxy shotgun. Super nice. I gotta say, the Galaxy shovel, well, I thought the Galaxy shovel looked a little darker, at least in the thumbnail. Maybe just like, I guess it depends on the lighting, but uh, they'll certainly pair well together. Pretty cool. I can see that being popular. Uh, get another title at 35, Boxka Commander. Then we've got the Abduction Badge. That'll be a good one. Is this a Galaxy Bok? Indeed it is. <laughs> that's, that's pretty neat. 1,000 Bok Bucks at 38. <clears throat> 39, you get the Invader's Badge. And could that be telling us something about Horde Mode? Who knows? And would we be the Invaders or are they the Invaders? Questions that we don't have answers to. Void Head. That's kind of cool. <laughs> Oh, no way! So we get like a Cosmic Sniperagus rifle. Uh, you know, I would love to see a Cosmic Grenado Launcher. <laughs> like, maybe he has plans like past season two. I know, crazy to think, but uh, maybe these will be like limited. Maybe it'll like span the whole gauntlet, if you will. Who knows? Uh, 42, we get a thousand Bok Bucks. 43. Oh, yeah, that would be good with RGB Man as well. No, that's gonna be cool. Uh, this looks like an outfit of some sort that looks very sinister. Oh, Galaxy Farmer. Okay. Uh, works well with the beard, right? <laughs> 45, we get the Chosen One title. That's kind of fitting. Uh, oh, dang, this keeps going and going and going. Okay, I thought it would stop at 50. Uh, so, spoiler. 46, yes, Cosmic Shovel. <laughs> Go, go, gadget shovel right there. 47, is this a mecha bok? Bok bot. Okay, that works too. Actually kind of a cool looking little deal there. Uh, this could be the whole video. Like, I don't even know if we need to play. Like, this is, this is just that fun. <laughs> so, 5,000 bok bucks. Epic. Galactic Gardener. That's a cool title. Uh, that's what we just had. Here we go. Tier 50, where I thought we would stop. Totally normal farmer, absolutely agree. Just your everyday run-of-the-mill galaxy guy. Uh, now you just get bok buck after bok buck. I don't know if this is to buy time. Uh, I don't know if there's like gonna be, if you look at this dot, looks like there's gonna be some other stuff. Who knows, I don't know if he's like got kind of blacked out there. We're gonna find out, but essentially after you get totally normal farmer, Tier 51 is 500 Bok Bucks, as is everything through 60. And then, I wonder, I don't know if these are placeholders. Just, you know, for like, say that you wrap this up real quick, you just keep getting rewarded, you don't cap out at 50. Uh, and they could be placeholders, they could legitimately be this. Maybe there's like a big reward at 100, because it looks like that's where we're headed. I'm looking at the dot down here. Okay, so 500 Bok Bucks, that's nothing to sneeze at, especially like when you get to this point. That's going to be pretty cool, but uh, things we have noticed aside from all of this and the epic music, uh, I'm enjoying that. We've got the, uh, I guess a spin-off of NASA there, <laughs> so it's Boxa. Uh, let's exit here, and oh, the little ice chest went away, so I want to play around in the background here. It'd be cool if we could like click that and quasi came out or something. Oh, didn't want that to happen. Okay. I was hoping we could like interact with something here. Um, maybe there, oh. well, maybe there will be something eventually, who knows, maybe we're just like not clicking in the right spot, maybe we'll figure it out as we go now. What I want to do now is come in here and see if there's anything we can see. You know what, for right now, we need to dial this in as well. Huh. Do we wanna go like OG into space or do we wanna be like RGB man? And so I think we gotta go RGB man. We look a little more at home, right? Uh, let's see here, RGB man, what hat do we want? Top hat, very sophisticated space traveler. Uh, Master Cowboy, yeah. <laughs> that might be the win. Of course, you can never go wrong with that. We might save that for a uh, for a more challenging thing, right? Uh, snowman hat would be a good choice. Which hat? Mail carrier, <laughs> outer space. Um, this is probably 
that works pretty good, but I don't like losing the glasses. We're gonna go a Master Cowboy there. That's a good choice. Uh, let's see here. We'll stick with this. Do we want a pet with us? Should we take a suitcase? We are going into outer space after all. Yeah, we're, we're traveling right now. So right here, we're gonna roll with what we've got. Uh, we wanna back out of here, we wanna go to weapons. And uh, I think it's only fitting that we use the Unishovel, right? <laughs> it uh, seems like something we should do. Is there a more appropriate one? Snow shovel, popsicle, hoe, uh, crowbar seems fitting. Banjo, that would be scary for anyone. Nomax, Galaxy Axe. Uh, I think we've got to go with our trusty steed here. The stick horse. No, we'll go unicorn. We'll, we'll go with the unicorn for now. Okay, this is cool. So, shotgun. No, we've got the skins here. I kind of think we got to go... We want to be cold in outer space. But we want to have the candy cob. I think we got to go diamond or silver. Per Let's go silver. It's more spaceship-ish. <laughs> All right. And now this is new, the Sniperagus. Ooh. Ooh, what is this about? Okay, so we saw this, right? 20,000 Sniperagus kills, good lord, we've got some work to do. Wait, oh, okay, so Diamond is up first, but it would be the last two, so uh, we can unlock, what was the Cosmic or Galactic skin by uh, Season 2, but 20,000, this is gonna be sweet. This gives people like me stuff to do and encourages me to use the sniper rifle. Uh, silver sniper Argus rifle, we're almost, well, I say almost, <laughs> it's 5,000. Uh, so gold, I'm assuming, would be 10, and it is. So this kind of gives us a precursor into the tiers quasi maze. I told you I'd love to see like grenade launcher skins. So I'm thinking you got your standard, and you're gonna have 5k, 10k, 20k. Again, uh, if you if you love these skins, you're gonna have to work them. You're gonna have to use these guns, use those game modes when they're limited time and available. But uh, note that there's only the shotgun and the sniperagus rifle at this time. So interface, we might change that too. Now I'm kind of worried. I never saw anything about the 2023 anniversary event. Um, sometimes like stuff doesn't load on my computer, <laughs> but. Uh, I don't know. We'll have to uh, try and figure that out at some point. What do we want to take to space at this point in time? Did the Karakit take us here? Maybe it did. Maybe that's the storyline we'll go with here. Uh, the American flag? I think we gotta go that route. A uh, small nod to the Karakit, though. So that's our spaceship. <laughs> uh, title. Let's see what we want here. We're gonna come down here. Sky Captain's probably going to be the choice. Dun, dun, dun. Immortal Farmer, that would be good. We haven't gotten to really capitalize on that. Uh, uh, these are relatively new. Still need to get that. That's what my nephew and I are going to do. Zombie Slayer, have I not done that really? Huh. Interesting. Uh, let's let's come down here. S Sky Captain, that's, that's good for now. <laughs> then, like I said, Galactic Groove has got to be what we roll. All right, let's jump to Cattle Pass, and this is season two. I think you're supposed to be able to like go back to season one. Like, I don't think you ever lose out at least what I was told by some of you, I believe. I don't know how you do that though. At this point in time, I'll try to figure that out for you. Um, let's check the marketplace. I'm not sure. Usually, it changes Wednesdays for me. No way. Okay, so this might be the answer to my question, or what I told you I'd try to figure out. So, this is your feature, this is your regular, and then you think, hey, what's this crud down here? Well, this is what you'd have standard. This three and these four. You know, these would stay the whole week, these change daily. Season archive, this would be from season one. Maybe this is how you can go back in time and get it. Of course, in our case, we have it all. Um, I don't know if there's a system where you'll be able to just at free will jump back to season one, or if this is how you would get it, those items. Have to use the block bucks, which then makes a ton of sense. Like, let's say you just bought the game on the summer sale. It's like your third day playing or your first time on the weekend. 
and you're like, man, I how do I do the season one stuff I've seen on YouTube? You might currently have to resort to this, but that's why all those 500 bok bucks are probably there. <laughs> so here's the thing though, career, you're gonna think that's stupid to go to. Not necessarily, number one, for archival reasons, okay? This is what I wanted to see right here. Two things I was looking for. First off, season one and season two, I don't know that season one was there previously, but you can see 50, that's in relation to the tier. There were 50 tiers in season two, there's 100 tiers. We gotta get to work. <laughs> and, uh, just as a precursor here, let me see what this text is. Oh, it's the weather, never mind. Thought my nephew was gonna be like, let's play. <laughs> but uh, right here, that's a glaring weakness we've gotta take care of. Uh, note, man, I just missed the 2,000 crop drops. I didn't get that recorded, wasn't paying attention. But this is what I want to cover here. So, like, with the Sniperagus rifle, we unlock, you know, silver, gold, and diamond at 5, 10, and 20. So we're close to that, you know, within a thousand kills, if you will, of the uh, silver. P-Volvers there, the Gramado launcher, we would already have silver if they keep those chili thrower. We gotta start using, we gotta start building up in anticipation of this stuff. Now, some of these is because, you know, like shotgun, shovel, uh, you can see like, even this though, we wouldn't beat a diamond tier if that's how, that's how, that's crazy to think about. Now, granted, the double cob did greatly impact that since it doesn't like archive both together. We'd be at 24, for example. Um, I've been trying to use the Hey K more, so we clipped 3K recently. Oh, no way. Okay. So, beat action rifle really needs some love, too. Uh, the Uzi, for as new as it is, that's quite a few kills. Note this, though. If there's ever, like, skins for the PK2, the Mulatov cocktail, or the Lemonade, I think they would be scaled down. That would be insanely cruel to have to get, like, 20,000 kills to get the Diamond Pineapple. But, that's, uh... Yeah, uh, we were doing pretty good on that front. Lemonade, I've even almost got it up to five, 500, I should say. But check this out, the Radish Gun. Uh, this is a new weapon. I don't know that I knew anything about it. What I was looking for here, um, let's see if they mentioned a map or a horde mode type of a thing. I'd love to see the maps actually get added. You know, like you can see your individual wins and kills, perhaps. Even if it was like a standalone tab or something. But... This is important, the radish gun, and uh, I can only assume that's some takeoff of the radish, right? So that's gonna be cool. But uh, yeah, now what we need to do next is quite simple. We need to click play. <laughs> we need to create a room. There it is, inside our 10th map in Shotgun Farmers. One of my favorite things is not necessarily like a word mode or anything, it's weapons and maps, why? I can play them all the freaking time, and I love it. Uh, favorite map, if I had to say, still would be Graveside. Um, countryside's just really good. Uh, they'd probably be there with Dark Side as well. North Side, pretty, pretty neat. West Side can't go wrong. Roadside's action packed. Uh, Riverside, if it still had the axe. <laughs> Uh, you gotta be really OG to know about that, but uh, if it still had the axe and the original weapon layouts, it might be higher up on the tier. But Graveside, man, that's that's still like the map for me. So anyway, uh, we're gonna go private. We're gonna go team deathmatch. We realistically ought to go soaring snipers, which I played that last night, ironically, and West Side of all places. Uh, it was daily challenge related, but uh, <clears throat> we're gonna go ten minutes, ten max players I guess uh, let's do 10 minutes actually we're probably gonna get 50 kills first but uh, what I'm wanting to simply do here is like have as much time to just explore the map and then overcome a deficit if we get into one so we're just gonna jump in I don't know I assume the radish guns gonna be there uh, it'd be really cool to see like a, a new handheld you know, like Lulatov, PK2, Onionade, Lemonade type of a thing. Even if it's just like a space spin off of that. But like I said, like if I don't know what this map is, if it's on the moon, if it's a space base, if it's a combination of those things. But just being in space opens up so many like options for maps. 
yeah, you could easily do another nine of them, you know, based off similar locations, type of things, environments. <laughs> but, uh, man, I, I don't know, like maybe a series of three maps or something if it takes off. Um, who knows? It's, uh, it's got a lot of potential, I'll say that. But anyway, we are going to go to Moonside. So blasting off for the very first time. Let's go with our suitcase. <laughs> oh, the space tractor. So this is really cool looking. Five, four, okay, three, so two, you know the drill. One. I'm not as interested in uh, really screwing around. You know, like I want to win, but I want to like explore. So they seem like, uh-oh. Oh. oh. Is this like zero, zero gravity? This must be a huge map. No one's died yet. For sale. <laughs> okay, so you got a moon moon milk. That's good to know. There's ladders in space. I'm not sure how I feel about this automatically being... Still, no one's died. Crazy. Oh, and you can totally ascend this. I don't know how I feel about the zero gravity, or like low gravity. I guess it makes sense is the thing. Um, I've not been looking for the Radish Gun, and I did not do multiple... Did this kill us? Oh, no. Uh, I didn't do, like, crazy weapons or anything. You know, like, random weapons, I should say. Trying to keep it vanilla OG. Man, this is cool. Uh, I work a lot. Like, a ton. Uh, basically, since, like... <laughs> May. I haven't really had much free time, so I haven't been on Twitter or anything, so I don't know if Quasi's done streams or anything with this, but this is epic. It's it's crazy to think, like, one dude is doing this, you know? <laughs> uh, this should have a cool view. No way we found it. Radish gun. Uh, it's not fully grown. I don't know if somebody has one already. Let's uh, try to get a view over here. Now, standard gravity seems to be the affair in... Whoa! Didn't know that was a thing. What am I on? <laughs> Let me come back in here. I want to wanna grab that radish gun. Uh, luckily, the bot squad's holding it down because we're contributing mightily. So it still looks like it's growing. Wait. Okay, so we have to get the cosmic one first. Is I guess every shot in here would be normal as well. So... Uh, well, let's just harvest it. I'm tired of waiting. 18 out of 20. What just happened? Whoa. Okay, hang on. That's what I thought I was doing. How did I throw that? <laughs> I was trying to, like, inspect the weapon. So, there she is. Uh, let's do a test shot. I love it. <laughs> I don't know what it does. Uh, hopefully it does a lot of damage, but it's epic. Uh, can we honk these? Maybe not. Okay, so should we like kill people? Uh, bot squad's doing really well here, so you step out there and it's low gravity. I think it's different than Soaring Snipers. I think Soaring Snipers has a bit more. So there's our Ghost Pepper. So here comes the Crop Saucer! Crop Saucer! Yeah! Epic. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. <laughs> I wish my nephew was playing this with me right now. Uh, what is it going to drop? Just I, I assume radish guns could be a thing. I really want to get in that biodome thing. Uh, man, this is epic. This is like really good. <laughs> the barrier is very similar to roadside, but definitely space sci-fi thing. I would live here, man. I mean, put me on Space Force and send me out here. Ooh, an Uzi! That's like only the second one I know of that being around. Uh, I don't think that's ours. I think that was... Oh, there's a Space Grimado! Yeah, the gnome is here too. Now, the only thing that would be better is if the gnome had a... Gnome secure! <laughs> space suit or something. Okay, so let's, let's get in this central building here. This is going to be an epic map if we have a Grimado and an Uzi together. Oh, cool! The rocket launcher's here. Okay, can we, like, screw with any of these? Oh, I'm looking for, like, an Easter egg or something. 
Uh, the Radish Gun is not available there. Oh, epic. Yeah, screenshot. <laughs> so, uh, let's see. Who knows, like, I don't know if you can interact with just one of these or, you know, none of them type of a thing. Let's blast this fool. A headshot. <laughs> oh, this is great. Hey, buddy. Oh, yeah. So, I don't know. I guess we need to not aim at the head. I'm going to like... Whoa, look at these Uzis. Sweet. <laughs> this is so epic. Uh, this thing is either OP or it's just we had two headshots. I did see the sniper rifle. We did see the rocket launcher. Uh, let me try to get close and like aim low. See what it'll do. This thing, epic. Okay, so that didn't Double kill. kill. I'm trying to like, I don't want to miss, but Triple kill. this thing's killer, like literally killer. Uh, <laughs> a AK-47 spawn? No way. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but that's the only one in the game, and you can go over the solar panels. I don't think we've been up here. The bot squad's doing really good in this. Oh, what a view. Sweet. <laughs> oh, this is epic, man. Here uh, comes oh, the crop go up here too. No, wait, crop saucer. Look at that look we get of the crop saucer. Oh man, he is like generous. Look at that. And it's oh man. Okay, so this would be a great gnome hiding place. We'll have to keep that in mind. Um, is this a deal where we can like, get on the antenna? No way. <laughs> Maybe that'll be the Easter egg. That would have been really cool. Uh, we've got the space satellite there. Okay, before the bots like screw this up and get like their most epic match ever, I'm going to see if we can land this jump to the biodome. No way, dude. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, this is good. This is this is really good. Oh, man. This is an awesome map. So let's try to take this in. We've got the red roof to kind of like a barn, really. Let me get right down to it. Let's see if this is good from up here. Double key. What? <laughs> oh, he's got a double cob. I could have just been from a crop drop. It would be insane if that was a spawn somewhere. This thing's pretty legit. <laughs> Another radish gun. Uh, can we? Okay, you can't shoot through. All right. Uh, so starting over there, a grenade launcher. Another silo type of a thing. A random satellite dish. Space barn. Oh, okay. Well, let me, you know what? I really want to get a, uh, get that Heike harvested. Never harvested a Heike from a natural spawn. But I can think of, you know what I mean? This is cool. I feel like these should do something. Do they? Maybe they do. Uh, can we honk this one? Again, normal. <laughs> this is, uh, screw it. Let's just get the rage gun. There's one kill left. I think the bots will get it. Where's this clown at? I'm intentionally missing that, by the way. I'm trying to get, like, close proximity. Victory! Oh, yeah. Oh, this is cool. Yeah, the suitcase kind of dumbs us down a little bit, but... Yeah, screenshot that for the memories. This is epic, man. This is like really good. Shout out to the bots, too. Look at Sparky there. <laughs> okay, so uh, bots did really well there. 17, 10, and 9. That's, that's impressive. So, yeah, King of the Crow shovel and Mulatov cocktails. I did not see any hand weapons here. It would be interesting to see if there is an effect by the gravity. I don't know that there would be. Five, this four, might be all we do, three, so I can like edit and upload this thing. One. 
Get those uh, so we'll kind of like play a little more serious this time. The music's epic. The map is epic. <laughs> this is so cool. Let's try to get first blood here. First blood. I love the uh, space crop. Double too. kill. It's like a perfect mesh of biodome and outer space. Yeah, I dig this. You know exactly what I'm trying to do here. Get a shovel kill and harvest our first ever that I can think of. Hey, okay, so this will really help you get Heike kills, because outside of, like, hay fever, uh, you know, it's kill. kind of a hard gun to come by. I'm going to get right down to it. Triple kill. Oh, this is so good. <laughs> so, we also, uh, we found the gnome once. He was in, like, a standard location, I would consider it. I thought we were going to be able to, like, run out there. I don't know of any Easter eggs just yet. Double kill. We gotta check the radish gun. Nobody's. Mm. Yeah, it's fully grown. Cool. So this is this is good. This is like really good. Be neat if like the coolers open and stuff. Again, there's a lot to take in on the on the new map. Like that. Okay, so that was that was a decent hit, and it didn't one shot him. So I guess it has like. It may not be the most OP thing, but it's pretty good. Let's, let's be honest here. Uh, oh, there we go. No, I'm secured. I kind of want to get shot at. It looks like the guns aren't really impacted. <laughs> that's, that's just, come on. Right in my face. Double kill. I wanted to see that spark effect. Uh, can you like hold down on this? Let me uh, research something over here. In peace, hopefully. So, this seems like something you could rapid fire. I'm gonna do it. No, it's still a one shot. Look at the range on it, though. It's much like the Uzi. <laughs> oh, this is cool. This is super cool. Uh, s s if you got this on the Steam Summer Sale recently and you didn't know this was coming, or maybe you did. Uh, you just want it life <laughs> because the amount of content that you get for 10 bucks is insane It would be cool if you could like rapid fire but, uh, Let's think what's not here and that would be the Pvolver at least that I haven't seen which obviously random weapons all that stuff You know comes into play, but Pvolver the watermelon gun. I don't think it's here Wait, what is this? Trying to research, sir. Is that the ghost? Hey, double kill. Is that gonna be the banana ring? Oh, that's gotta be something. There goes the crop saucer. <laughs> it's so cool. Oh man. Uh, can you get up there? I bet you can. Let me try to land this. It's quite difficult to control your jump. I'll say that, but this is just, this is, this is neat. This is really, really neat. Uh, can you go up there? I guess you can, didn't we? Oh, okay, it's another side. Alright, so green seems to be glass that's not penetrable. Ooh, that's tempting. <laughs> and let's just uh, spin this as quick as we can. Double kill! Nope, I'm taking it. Okay. I love the sound of Double kill. Triple kill. <laughs> this is so cool. Let me see here. I don't know that that does anything. Maybe there's like an underground or something. Double kill. Killer. <laughs> oh man, this is good. This is really good. Oh, it's a little. There he is. Bokbot. I want to. I want to call him something different, but Bokbot, I believe, was the correct terminology. I don't think we went through here. Looks like the ghost pepper area. Man, this is so cool. So much potential. <laughs> uh, what I want to do now. This is very similar to like the countryside barn. So I want to grab this. 
to waste that. Oh, he's gone. I want to see if he can run across these. Soon as you could, and you can. Epic. So if I'm thinking correctly, we can't go through there? Okay, we can. And you can go through. Okay, so that's totally solid. Double kill. <laughs> this is so good, man. So good. Double kill. Triple <laughs> kill. Let's get the hey K going here. No kidding. So hey K, that's what I'm talking about. Like when you can kind of hold the weapon down. Radish gun. Somebody's shooting the radish gun. What's that noise? Kind of sounds like a. a Minecart. That'd be crazy. It could just be like the industrial noise. Who knows? This is so good though. I don't think we've run across this properly yet. Maybe we did at the start. Here comes the crop saucer! Victory! Oh, I didn't know that was gonna happen. You know, what I'm not seeing is a crop drop. Hmm. Interestingly, there's also not. Um, what was I going to say? Something important. <laughs> Dead gum. Not a crop drop. So that'll, that's one thing. But you do have the crop saucer. Maybe we just weren't paying attention? I don't know. But Dead gum, this is awesome. So, I'm going to do you a favor. And I'm going to uh, edit this and get it uploading. And have it go live tomorrow. Well, later today. Uh, this is sweet. <laughs> this is, this is really cool. Uh, let me come in here and customize farmer, pets, gnome in space, cat in space, crow in space, rock in space, lingbok, boobok, zomquack, tractor, you get the idea. We're gonna go with nothing because it just seems to like work better. Uh, and maybe, maybe we gotta we gotta step it up here a little. Let's do it. Diving shotgun. Oh yeah. So uh, this is awesome. Uh, it's really, really, really cool. Um, tons of options for expansion. I cannot wait to see a horde mode. I can only assume that there will be one. I don't know if it'll come now. I don't know if like, we'll get a riverside horde. I don't know what's going to happen. But I'll take any of it with uh, with uh, eager <laughs> anticipation. So uh, I'm, I'm going to, like I said, get this rendered and uploaded. And then I'm going to see if my nephew like wants to uh, play. So uh, we shall see. But yeah, this is great. So uh, sh shout out to Quasi, man. Like this is... I didn't really know what I was going to expect, but this is like better than I expected. The music is on point, uh, the graphics, everything. It's just, it's just, this is really cool. So, anyway, uh, I will take care of my daily challenges. I'll do that off camera, and uh, probably while this renders out, and I got a shower and everything too. But uh, 2.2.0.15 is the version number here. It's awesome. I'll try to find out if you can like manually change the season somehow. I don't know if it's like in options or something. Who knows? But you can at least access it through the marketplace as well. But yeah, we got a hundred tiers to go through here and I'm looking forward to it. So let me know in the comments section what you think of the long, long anticipated Moonside. And uh, if this is, if you don't have the game yet, <laughs> like 10 maps, Multiple game modes, horde mode across three maps, I'm sure with more coming. Uh, this is its just a great pickup, man. So uh, I will quit rambling. I'll get this thing edited and uploaded. And uh, again, let me know your thoughts on this. Leave them down below. Let Quasi know. But man, I am uh, i am thrilled about this. So uh, we'll be going through there. I'll play like I always do, kind of like, you know, every night and update you as we like hit certain milestones or stuff. But yeah, this this is cool. So I'm a happy little guy, Friday night. Hopefully I can log a lot of time here working my way through all 100 tiers of season two. But with that said, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will catch you back here for more action from outer space. All right, one more thing here. I thought this might be an Easter egg in the back, and it totally is. 
you'll note I usually play on South America due to my internet. I went to North America West, and you'll note if the globe looks different to you, the Earth, the sphere that we live on. <laughs> Check this out. We're going to come in here. We'll go to North America East. Boom. Shift it over. You kind of get a better view of the U.S. Uh, with the East location there. Uh, but if you're like, oh, what? I don't really, really know what you're saying here. Check it out. We'll go back to South America. <laughs> That's what we had previously. Uh, let's see. We'll just jump around a little bit here. So Asia Central, Schwing, we got India, everything, let me see the Middle East, uh, let's see, what else would be cool, Australia, check that out, <laughs> kind of off here on its own, uh, so yeah, very subtle, you know, something people might not even realize, but uh, it's awesome, South Korea, <laughs> this is, flags come into play there. Uh, this is this is cool, man. This is very very cool. So let's go back to North America West here. What I want to do now, just real quick, real quick, not click, is see what we've got. Uh, yeah, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, I don't see anything right off the bat that's looking like you can revert back to Season 1. I will try to find out for you. There's something else I thought of, but I guess not too important because I forgot. Dang. Let's let's do a quick update here. 46 Raidish Gun kills. <laughs> awesome. So I've texted my nephew. I told him this is like super cool. He's going to like it. But anyway, I'm going to get this thing uh, editing and rendered out. And... Uh, yeah, if you, if you don't have this game, I cannot recommend it enough. If you wonder why I've played it for so many years, it's because I genuinely enjoy it. It's kind of like in the Mario Kart realm to me. You know, like, uh, play the snot out of Mario Kart Wii. Uh, it's just, it's awesome. And I uh, absolutely love it. So, well, that's it. I gotta go. Hope you enjoyed. I'll catch you back here for more action, once again, from Outer Space.